Hey, I want to welcome everybody. Um, it's, it's wonderful to see such a great turnout. Um, the, it's not surprising that there's so much interest in Atlantis right now, and there's no coincidence that the energy of Atlantis is rising throughout the world um, at a time when the humankind and Mother Earth are evolving. So um, there's also no coincidence that uh, we're all getting together here today at, at this moment. There's a purpose behind all of it. Um, in uh, March, Kaipacha and Miguel Angel will be um, leading a group to access the um, to, to, to access the uh, Atlantis energy through the Maya temples. And uh, Miguel Angel will tell you that the Maya sacred sites have been uh, the, have never been stronger and never been have, have had more energy. And I think Kaipacha will tell you that, that March is the exact time astrologically for this uh, for this to happen. So anybody who's interested in this journey and uh, want more information, you've got my emails, just uh, send me an email. There's still some space left, but you need to act soon. So um, I'm going to uh, ask Kaipacha to uh, say a few words and then we'll have Miguel Angel do his thing. Kaipacha? <laughs> Hello everyone. I am sorry to be in a place with very poor internet and I have to keep my video off, but I can see you. <laughs> um, yes, I am, uh, you know, greatly honored and excited about sharing this journey with uh, Miguel. I have uh, done three other uh, journeys through the temples um, and Miguel is just <clears throat> such a uh, powerful, unique, beautiful human being that is so knowledgeable in the teachings and the wisdom of the Mayan peoples. And even more than knowledge, he is so heartfelt. And he, you know, we would do ceremony, and I'm sure we will be doing ceremony at the different sites. And the ceremony just opens the portal, yeah, or portals, um, so that we can uh, truly connect, not just through talk and um, knowledge, like I say, but to actually merge, unite, connecting our energy fields and our heart. Um, the magnetic fields of our heart with uh, the spiritual beings connected with these ancient sites. So it's, um, it's really amazing. And this year in particular, as Trudy said, um, we have astrological aspects that I will be bringing and discussing about Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter is a 12-year cycle, and it's spending, uh, you know, most of the year of 2019 in the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the guru, the wisdom teachings of natural law that all evolution follows and, and, and occurs through these cycles. So it's just really a, a tremendous year for tapping into these deeper wisdom teachings and the meaning. And also, I'd say, you know, finding our relationship to these teachings g gives us a deeper, more meaningful purpose for our existence, for our lives for why we are here and what we are doing. So it's, it's like I say, to me, it is, um, uh, it, you know, it's all seven chakras, okay? It's not that we're just going to learn, uh, you know, new teachings, but we are going to be doing ceremony. I will be bringing yoga. We will be physically walking the land and the sites and doing meditations, and this, you know, just really activates. I see this journey as an opportunity to really activate our, um, you know, our, our deepest core intentions and, um, yeah, 
really find so so much of our roots. We have a Pluto south node of the moon conjunction in Capricorn um, going, you know, far back. This is a, a year of really um, digging deeply into our roots. So, Miguel, there's no, there's just nobody better to do it with <laughs> than Miguel. I see him on there. It's not Trudy. It's Miguel. <laughs> So uh, good to see you uh, there, Miguel, and uh, um, in La Cache. La Cache. Well, thank you for your words. I always feel uh, honored to have a, a great teacher like you with us, and always something very important is uh, your heart, who is opening the, the hearts to the people, to the stars, and, and how to connect with these uh, Mayan energies and the temples we're going to visit. So for me, it's a, as you said, it's an honor to share the space with you and to go day by day to this amazing journey, reconnecting the, the memories from ancient Atlantis. I think that this journey is coming because now we little by little uh, have been understanding that we are one family. And as we are one family, we, we have one heart to share. We have one mind to share. We have one energy to share and i think the spirits everywhere are coming to us now to tell that is the time to reconnect with the ancient path of the wisdom and at the same time to take care now how the stars guide us in this moment and how important it is to take consciousness of all this process so as is predicted the atlantis energies are coming back you know and we are ready to follow this in mars journey so thank you very much for your words and to share these moments with us. And I invite everyone who feels attraction to be in touch with the Maya teachers from Atlantis, with the Lord Itzamna, who come in to feel, you know, in their own hearts, in their own flesh, in their own minds, in their own spirits, the contact again with the ancient ones in the temples we're going to visit. Well, um, just as an introduction to the meditation we're going to do. You know that there have been written many, many books about Atlantis, more than 2,000 books written by different people, scientists, scholars, spiritual people. But it's difficult until now to confirm 100% about Atlantis. But anyway, we have now more, more something very important that is our consciousness. I think that the consciousness is the key to enter into the codes, into the energies of the Atlanteans. It's not something physical. It's like the um, Akashic records. The Akashic record needs a person who activate their own consciousness through meditation to enter in those levels of frequencies. You know, I think that we have so much in, in the art and the philosophy in our spirit, spirits and ceremonies, and the science itself can give us a great opportunity to enter into the essence of the Atlantean people. You know, just to, just to show these names, you know that the, some of them knows Atlantis, Atlantic, Atlanteotl. The, the word ATL means uh, in uh, the language in, in Mexico City, the Nahuatl, means water. So that's uh, immediately is the frequency connecting with Atlantis. Atlantico, the ocean, Atlanteot, the great statues who hold the roofs in the, in the temples. And then in the area of the Mayan area, we have the name Tulan, Toyan, Tula, Tule, who is a connection with the radical Ha, who means water too. So over water, of water, surrounded by water, the island in the water, all this represented Atlantis. And in the Mayan book, the Popol Vuh, there is a written reference about that the Mayans live in Atlantis. And one day, when they were ready to cross from the east to the west to the Maya lands, they said that the 12 great elders coming from the Maya Kachikel tradition, they have uh, red, red sticks in front of the sea. 
And the people say, how are we going to cross to the other side because the sea is in front of us? And as they extended, the 12 of them extended their sticks, their red sticks, in front of the sea, the sea was open. And then they could walk, you know, between the two sides of the water, you know, until they cross from the East Atlantis to the next uh, land. It's amazing that this story exists in the Maya. Exactly that we say Moses in the Bible. So the, the thing is that there are memories who are coming now that we remember who we are. And then another great story who is important, how we feel connected to each other as a family is because you know, many of these great teachers who I will show you, you know, some of them, it's Amna in the Mayas, Osiris in, uh, in, in, in the Egyptians, Viracocha in Peru, Apollo in Greece, Fuji in China. All these teachers made the Exodus in the time before Atlantis sinking, chosen the, the chosen ones, the people who were ready spiritually to be protected, to be safe. And all this is coming now to the same process. And now we are living uh, specific times connecting with this land, Atlantis. We need to, to feel uh, the society, the humankind, the people as one. We have a great symbol who was found at Chichen Itza. And it's the symbol of Atlantis. This is the Chacmol. And the Chacmol, is a master of the sun who has in the center in the solar plexus the symbol how to activate the chakras but one of the most important symbols is in the chest in the chest is a symbol of the butterfly who represents the liberation of your soul your spirit is free to fly to contact the teachers to contact your spirit your high self to contact the one state who hide you spiritually. Of course, right, so, so the Chagmol, you know, it's a piece from King Kron Atlantis, and it was found at Chichen Itza in the time when the scientists were digging there. There were 12 statues of Chichen Itza, uh, of Chagmol, founded at Chichen Itza, one of the great cities founded by... Okay. So, it's a bonhomme who talks about the pyramid. I'm sorry, please, uh, please mute. Okay. okay. So, what I'm going to invite you is to do this meditation, connecting with, you know, the ancient times, the golden times of Atlantis. And as you activate through your Holy Spirit, your memories, you can reach some of these memories to feel what is the correct knowledge in Atlantis, what, what happened in Atlantis, and what, what we need to do now to correct the, these aspects, okay? So let's go and do these meditations together, guided by the Holy Spirit. So let's do a prayer before to begin. In this moment, we ask the Holy Presence of our Father, the heart of the sky, and the Holy Presence of our Mother, the heart of the earth. And we call, we call with our hearts in a humble way, the Holy Spirit to guide us as a family, as all of us that we have memories from Atlantis to rediscover in ourselves the great knowledge, the wisdom that we have still in our molecules and cells, bones, in our nervous system, in our chest, in our hearts, in our souls, in our spirit as one family. So, Father, I pray you, Creator, he whose name is whispering a breath, to bless all my great brothers and teachers and sisters in this moment, to bring healed the ancient memories to be healed. The memories who need to be healed today, we ask you to heal in each one of my brothers and sisters in their different levels of energy, the seven levels of energy, in the seven chakras, in the body, in the soul, and the spirit and to activate again the memories, the good memories of the ancient ones from Atlantis to begin a new path today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Holy Spirit, to bring us together in this day with great memories from Atlantis. Breathe in, close your eyes, and breathe in and breathe out. 
Breath in and breath out. There is no more beautiful name for to call the creator, but is the Mayan said, he whose name is whisper in a breath. Each time when we breath in and breath out, we say thank you, thank you, Father, for this day, for this moment. Thank you for my organs, thank you for the middle of my heart. Thank you for my mind. Thank you for to allow me to walk, to move. Thank you for that I can eat, that I can take my shower, that I can see my family, that I can see my home, that I can connect it with the other members of the society. Thank you, thank you, thank you for to give me the help today. The miracle. Thank you for to allow me to see the sun, the stars, the moon. Thank you for to allow me to see the sky and the earth and to feel the earth, Mother, even the nurturing to me every day. So in this moment, we're going to relax from above our head and to imagine a beautiful, beautiful being of light descending from the cosmos, from the central sun, our Father, and we connected in our seven chakra to connect with our seven chakras and all our whole being to be in peace, relax, your head, your eyes, your forehead, your cheeks, your neck, shoulders, relax, relax your shoulders, relax your hands, relax your chest. Relax your inner organs, your lungs, your heart, your inner, inner systems, the hips, the legs, the knees, and connected strongly through your feet with the Mother Earth, Mother Ixchel, Mother Ishmukane, Heart of the Earth. You were in the time when the Atlantis have a beautiful island, the island of Poseidon, in the middle of the ocean, the Atlantic. We ask you, Mother, in this moment, to allow our spirit to go in these meditations to see the golden times of Atlantis, the times when Atlantis was shining in their temples, the wisdom, the love, the peace, the kindness, the harmony, the balance, the healing. So I invite you to imagine in your chest a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. But the butterfly is made of crystal and is moving, is winds. And in that, in that beautiful butterfly, we are going to travel in a spirit in this moment to the Atlantic Ocean in the area of the Gulf of Mexico. A big island is there, Atlantis, Atlantic, Atlanteot, Tula, Tulan, Toyan, Tulha, Aslan. Your sacred names still have resonance with our whole beings, our cells and molecules and atoms. Great memories, we call you Tulan, Tulan.
We see in the distance from above that our spirit is flying to the island of Poseidon in Atlantis, who is now in front of our eyes. And then you see from above the beautiful, the beautiful island surrounded by water, surrounded by water, surrounded by all these amazing pyramids. And we descended now in a spirit in front of Tulan, Atlantis. As we descended there, we see two big columns. Two big columns in front of us with a golden door. And these two great guardians, one is a man, one is a woman. We ask permission to be admitted to enter into the side of the island of Atlantis in this moment, doing our salutation to the right in Lakech, to the left, Alaken. It means I am you, you are me. But before to enter in Atlantis, you will receive a gift. You will be transformed in your physical body in a different person. In this moment, I want you to see if you are changing your clothes, what is the cloth you are having Maybe you are a man or a woman. This the type of skin color change. Black, yellow, brown, white. How tall you are. In which is the kind of things that you're wearing. A tunic, a cloth, white, blue. You have sandals, the color of your eyes, how you look like. You are there in a transformation to enter inside of Atlantis. I want you to perceive your spiritual transformation. They open the doors, the guardians open the doors. And now you walk as a different person with the same spirit, dressing differently inside of the great gardens of the great temples of the light where the Mayan Atlantis teachers are there waiting for you. going to do a mantra to connect with that great energy of the temples, the temples of the divinity, the temples of the greater father, mother. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to come back, to be here today, in this moment, in this time. Thank you, thank you, father. For me, it's a great healing, it's a great joy, it's a great happiness to come back to Atlantis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Na, ku, 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 na,
receiving the visit of your teacher in the time of Atlantis. Man and woman is coming to you, and now you have tears in your eyes to see your teacher. How you teach her? How you teach her? Memories come back to you in this moment. Holding his hands, her hand said, Thank you for to come to see me today. Thank you for to guide me in these ancient temples. But in my dreams, in my ceremonies, in my memories, come back. And I know that I need to come back with you. Your teacher is saying to you, I'm going to guide you, my daughter, my daughter, my son. We're going to walk in the golden temples. One of the great names of Atlantis in the Mayan times is when they said, this is the temple of the crystal worlds. These are the temples of the crystal worlds. So we begin to walk inside in a temple that is called Ak He Ak He. We climb three steps to a beautiful platform of crystal diamond, all shining diamonds and big columns of crystals. Ak He. One of the sites we'll visit in our journey is there, the time of Atlantis shining the light. We'll walk through these great columns of light, and our teacher invites us to hold one of the columns of crystals. And as we do that, we can feel memories coming back. As we hold this column of light, we heal our body. We heal any wounds in our seven levels of energy. We heal the memories in our minds. We heal any, any cell, any atom, any molecule, any organ who's not in the frequency of the light. Heal me, heal me, heal me my mind, heal me my emotions, heal me 
my heart, heal me my inside organs, heal me my lungs, heal me my heart, heal me my legs, heal me my whole being, mother, mother, heal, 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 heal. I think the aroma, and then we see another beautiful, beautiful temple in red color. We're going to climb three steps and the door is open to enter inside of this red temple whose name is La Luna, Luna, the house with the wisdom's wall, the house who contain the wisdom painted like in Bonham Park, the murals, the paintings, the great art, the artists of the spirits, Luna, nowadays, Lavna, the house, the temples, with the paintings of wisdom of the mother. We enter inside this temple. And with the hand, with our teacher, we see paintings inside this temple. There are many paintings, but look, the paintings are alive. The paintings can move. They are made of plasma. They have life. They are not dead. They are alive. What is the most beautiful? Remember, for Atlantis. Do you want to see in the paintings? When you were a child, when you were a teenager, when you were a young man and woman, when you were a priest or priestess, when you were an elder, when you were an astronomer or mathematic, astrologist, When you project that from your mind, the painting is for you, is there for you. Touch it with permission of your teacher. And the painting will talk to you in this moment. Lubna, Lavna, Lavna. The house with the walls of wisdom of the mother. Remember me, the time when I was here happy. The time when I was looking to the stars every night, looking to the sun, to the constellations, and I feel this nostalgia again in my heart for my cosmic connection. And from this land, that one day I had my family here. Your teacher is with you all the time, protecting, guiding you, protecting and guiding you. Lamna, 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 Lamna.
heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Deliver to you, Holy Spirit, all what I am in this moment. Stand up in my, my teacher, guide me. We left, we abandoned Labna Temple. We walk, crossing a beautiful, beautiful little creek. Like in Palenque, we cross a bridge. And there is a great temple in pink color. And the name of this temple is Ushma. Ushmal. 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 The great temples of the divinity, the cosmic temples, came from the four fifth dimension with the purpose that human eyes be amazed to see a cosmic temple on earth. We are there looking in this beautiful pink pyramid. Many women working there because there are the sacred feminine where Ishel, our mother, and Ishmukane connecting with the ancient times with the medicine in Atlantis, they preparing medicine. They do healings, they do massage, they do connection with the energies to heal the bodies, the souls and the spirits. So you have something to say to Mother Ishel or Mother Ishmukane about a healing that you need in your body, in your soul, in your spirit, in your organs, in your mind, in your emotions. This is the moment to say, Mother in shell, Mother, thank you. Thank you for to bring me here today. Heal me, heal me, heal me, Mother. I love you, I respect you, I honor you, Mother. Ushman, Ushman, Ushman. Ishel, Ishel. Jaguar in their chest, 
connecting with the Christ consciousness of love and light. Climb three steps and enter inside of the body, of the columns, of the temple, of this jaguar who represents your inner side, your heart, the connection with Balam, the connection with the Christ consciousness. We say thank you, thank you, thank you for to forgive me, for to cleanse me, my soul, my spirit, for to forgive me my mistakes from the past, and as I forgive the others. And this is the great inlakage. I am you and you are me. This is the great way in this moment to forgive, to be forgiven. Because the warriors are strong in their spirits. The Lord's warriors, the Lord's Lola. We call the energy of the Jaguar to come, to make a strength your heart, to be brave. Each other to walk together 
in this time, in this moment, with our families, with our friends, with our humankind, all colors, all nationalities. And we arrive to the Golden Temple of Chichen Itza, Chichen Itza, the sacred well where the eats, the energy of the do, descend every day over the age of the well. The Itzais is the people who came with Itzabna to the Maya land. That's why Chichen Itza is a cosmic university. The powerful energy of the pyramid Kukulkan is there like a big heart, like the golden energy that you need now to process and to activate your heart. And we are going to do that with a sacred mantra. Om Hum. 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 ceremonies, places where the teachers talk each other about their natural laws, cosmic laws. And we see the connection of the top of this pyramid with the golden light, connecting with the central sun, sending to the center of the planet, connecting as one with the central sun, our sun, and the sun underneath. That is called by the Mayas the Midnight Sun. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Kunaku, for to allow us to come to your home. The Mayans call the temples of pyramids with the name of Ku. K U Ku. Because it means divinity, creator, father, mother. Now, with the hand of our teacher, we leave the golden pyramid. We go to another place in this beautiful island. And now there is a beautiful, beautiful grass, green. And we see all the beautiful, beautiful butterflies in all colors. Imagine millions of butterflies surrounded you around you in purple, blue, red, brown, all the colors, yellow, rose, flying around you. It's a beautiful garden of butterflies. And then we cross from there to one beautiful, beautiful pyramid. We call the pyramid of Itzam the teacher, the master, who brought the Mayas to the Maya land. It's, in Maya language, means the two. The mana, who 
who descend them from the sky as a beautiful, beautiful nurture for our spirits and bodies, the wisdom from its own And then its purple color, the pyramid of its own is purple. We climb three steps up. There's a beautiful platform, all shining purple. And we see the entrance of the Itzamna temple. We enter with the hand of our teacher guiding us. And we see the beautiful purple color cleansing our ethers, ethers, in the physical, in the theoretical, in the emotional, in the mind, in the will, in the consciousness, in the spirit. The ether is vibrating over us, vibrating over us, cleansing, cleansing with the great energy of the Lord in summer. Great Master, Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, thank you. Want to do a mantra to connect with the ether? The mantra Maya, Khan, Khan, Khan. presence of the Master in Samna. He's praying to the Creator for all of us, for all his children in this time, in this modern era, that we keep the balance, the harmony in love for our planet, for ourselves, and to bring back the Mayan knowledge. We say thank you to the Lord it's now. We say thank you to the Lords of Ake, Labna, Ushmal, Chichen Itza, Ekbalam, Isamal, the sacred places in our journey are included to remember the memories. The good memories, the golden memories, the great knowledge. And now it's possible to apply again in our lives. When the Spirit is with us, when the Father is with us, when the Mother is with us, there is no impossible. And all what happened outside in Mother Nature is just a reflection of our own nature inside. So we keep our healing process in our seven levels of energy, body, soul, and spirit, and we manifest it and we decree with our voice peace, harmony, kindness, love, abundance, forgiveness, healing, purification. That is going to be manifested because we have the power in our words to manifest what the Father wants us to do. Come back now in a spirit to the entrance. Still we're dressing in a different way. We see the way that we are dressing. Sandals, which type of sandals, clothes, white. You have feathers in your hair, which is the color of your eyes, as you told, which is the color of your skin. All please take note of that. Now you have, all of you receive, have received 
from the teacher, a beautiful symbol in crystal, and it's a butterfly to keep with you. When you win your home, wants to go to Atlantis, imagine in your right hand to have that butterfly to go there, to go and to come back and say, as a symbol of Atlantis. In this moment, we will be transformed again that we are now in our homes, dress, to we'll come back to be the same. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother, for these great moments to remember the memories in ancient Atlantis. We feel joy, balance, harmony, not guilty, not fear, because we know that now we know that everything is inside us. And as we change, everything is going to change. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We say thank you to the guardians. They close the doors, we say again, in La Cage. And as they close the doors, we return back to our places where we are now, sitting, reincorporating our spirit, soul, body. We're coming back, We're coming back to our places, to our homes. We feel so happy, so calm, balance and harmony. Knowing that we were in Atlantis, and those memories are very important to remember our balance and beauty and harmony and love and peace and healing that you have your skills from the very old times and now is the time to use it again. Pray, heal, chant, sing, dance. Express your healing process. Express your skills to humankind. To make one family again. All the tribes, when the ancient came to Atlantis, to Egypt, Incas, Mayas, Druids, Japan, Chinese, Tibet, all we are one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to do a mantra to say goodbye to this meditation. Three times with the mantra, Aum, Father, Mother, Son. send love and light, abundance, peace, kindness, harmony to all the presidents, politics in the world without distinction to all the geographical areas who are suffering, to all the people in hospitals, to all the people in houses that they need love and light. Your warmth shall reach them from your heart send love to them and as you give you receive thank you thank you thank you thank you mother thank you mother breath in breath out breath in and breath out take a moment to say thank you to your personal teachers, to your guides for all you have received, for all the healing, purification, 
to the memories from the past and to the Holy Spirit to guide us how to apply it, how to use it, how to make it happen in this time, in this moment, in this, in this incarnation with this body, in the conditions that I live now. We are here to serve, we are here to love, we are here to enjoy this life. You cannot change anybody, but you can change yourself. Every day a little step, every day pray for the planet, pray for the others. And I'm sure that we see again this amazing harmony because we are one family and this is what is very important to remember. God is within you and as you see in the other, God, Father, Mother, that is the key. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Don't forget your crystal butterfly that is etherically in your hand. Put over your chest, your heart, and keep it there when you need it. Thank you very much for your presence and I feel honored to always to share with you, but without you, I am not complete. And I think that every star is now time to shine. Everyone is a star, everyone has God within and it's the time to consider to be part of that, to be part of that cosmic energy. Atlantis, is represented by the butterfly. It's time to put together all these beautiful butterflies that we have. Thank you very much. And see you in the next. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Okay, thank you everybody for your uh, your attention. Thank you. Obviously, thank you for coming. If you want more information on what we're doing, just contact me and uh, we'll see if we can. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Trudy. Thank you. I hope to see all of you there. We expect everybody to show up, right? <laughs> yeah, come and join us for sure. <laughs> Those that can come would be very, very welcome. Drop me a line and I'll uh, I'll help you get all set up. Yay! Bye now. Thank you. In my catch. In my catch. In my catch. Thank you.